Hell yeah, man. I'm here with my boy GT. He's getting fresh to death. You know, uh -huh. DD. And uh, shoot, man, you know, I'm cheers to, you know, a hell of a training camp, man, with Floyd, Money Mayweather, you know, uh, TBE. I'm excited for Sunday. And uh, shoot, I got my gear on, you know. Yeah, little, you little, think? A little throwback. But uh, uh -huh. shoot, man. I'm right here with Christopher Barber. Yeah, I want to find one of the dopest barbers in Miami. One of the dopest barbers on the planet is uh, at C R I S D A B A R B E R. My brother. Hell yeah. Shoot, next time I'll be in Miami, man. You have to get me cut. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. So, uh, so what can you tell me, man? How do you feel about, you know, um, the, you know, how did you switch over, you know, from, you know, AB, training AB to the victory and then, um, you know, months after, you know, training with the, you know, your, um, your former, basically your former trainer, man, like family, you know? Yeah, Floyd was my um, manager. He was co-managing me with, uh, along with James Prince, who was his manager at the time. And um, the transition has been easy, man. You know, we're, we're, we're like one big family, man. Like, boy, he's like my big brother. AB's like a younger brother. So it's just one big family, man. It's easy to go from one house to the next. That's dope, bro. And so, um, like, what have you done differently this time around? That uh, um, Nothing different. Everything is the same. Just working hard is all just, uh, you know, giving a hundred percent. You can either give a hundred percent or not. So, and that's what I do every time is give a hundred percent, you know, whatever it needs, whatever, whatever is required of me. I just make sure I do it to the fullest. Yeah. Hell yeah. I bring, bring a huge ball of positivity and, and hard work. Hell yeah. Shoot. That's the best man. And then, um, you know, with that mitt, and, and that mitt work is good, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, I ain't even seen none of the good stuff yet. That's like the, that's mild right there. Like, that's probably like a, say like a six out of 10 compared to some of the stuff we do, man. Like, man, we go, we go crazy, man, on the mitts, but crazy. It feels like I'm watching Roger again, bro. All right, yeah, a lot of, Roger, man. A lot of, in, in spirit, it is. You, you, you are watching Roger in spirit. He, he right there. He right there besides us. He's in, he's in Floyd, he's in me, and he's right there in the, in the gym every awesome. every second. Hell yeah. Like, I was telling my boxing analyst the other day, I was like, I was like, man, like I was talking about GT, you know, I was just, I was saying all these things, you know, about you, bro, and I was just like, dude, man, like, he's like, dude, have you seen him on the mids? And I was like, dude, it reminds me just of Roger. And he's just like, he's like, I know you, bro, he's getting sick, bro, on the mids. I was like, people, people doubted this guy, bro. I told him. I was like, yeah. Oh, no, no, nobody doubting. But it's cool. It with the game, it come with the game, man. It's, it's such huge shoes to feel. So I, I understand. I understand it doubt. I ain't tripping at all. I'm just going to do, keep doing me going 100% and uh, progressing every single day. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about um, how everything's been going, man, with like the build up to the fight and, um, you know, showtime and all that stuff? Oh, it's been going good, man. Um, I, I, it's been surreal for me. That's my perspective. It's, everything is surreal. It's just like, wow, is this stuff really happening? But I, I also seen it happening a long time ago. Like um, when I first started working the Miss, I was like, man, one day I'm going to be training AB. I'm going to make him a better fighter. And then I said, then after that, I'm going to be training Floyd. I'm going to make him a better fighter somehow, some way. You know, it sounds crazy, but... um. You know, it's possible. And um, and so to get here, um, it, it was unexpected, but expected, if you get what I'm saying, because I had already envisioned it. But um, it's just weird, man. It's surreal, man. It's a dream come true. That's so dope, man. You know, having a, a jam-packed, you know, going to be a jam-packed arena and hard rock. Um, what's one thing that you're most excited or most, like, anxious for that night? At the end, when um, after it's all said and done, when it's a beautiful victory and it's time for the post-fight um, interview where Floyd gets to say his last words and um, just to hear um, what he's going to say because um, uh, it's going to be a beautiful performance and um, 
it's just like watching a movie, man. I just can't wait to the end to see, say you watch it like, uh, let's say Fast and the Furious when it first came out and you're like, you're waiting for the end to see if there's gonna be a sequel. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's that's gonna be my favorite part of the night. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm anxious, man. You know, um, it's it's sad that I gotta be at work for that fight, but um, I'll be watching it, man. I'll be watching it live at work and shoot, I can't wait to see every moment of it, you know. Um, how do you feel? about like what's next like what's next after this bro what do you feel is right next after this is um probably ab's gonna start camp soon um and they got the the woodley paul fight i I think there's gonna be um some kind of tmt thing going on with that and um I can't expect to be a part of that. So that's what I'm looking forward to now. So getting A.B. back in the ring, back in the camp, to get him back into the ring and um, find out about the, uh, the, the the Willie Paul fight. Yeah. How do you feel about that, man? Um, honestly, I was hoping they would save that fight for, for Floyd. For, for the future, but um, you know, you gotta just go with the flow. Sometimes stuff it happens the way it happens. Who knows what's gonna happen, if it's gonna happen. So, um, you know, I'm just, that's how I feel about that, honestly. Hell yeah. So all the, so all the events leading up to the fight, it's been, um, has it just been like a movie? Basically, it feels like a movie. Like all the antics from like the Paul brothers and everything like that. Or is it yeah. Still the same? yeah, well, if some of it feels like a movie because I, I jump out of my body to watch things, make the right decisions for myself, you know, where, where I play a part. But um, that stuff, the, the Paul and Floyd stuff, the antics, that stuff is all real. Like, they really like trying to, you know, have fun and pick, pick fights and, you know, um, make people mad. But they really made Floyd mad. Like, he was back there pissed the fuck off. They had to come down for a long time. And, you know, not everybody gets had, had, had ever, ever seen Floyd pissed off. But, uh, you know, I have. I lived with him for almost two years back when I was 20, 21. But um, he was really pissed off, man. And, and, and I'm glad they um, was able to get him to calm down because, you know, it could have got way uglier than people would have ever imagined. Could have got heated, man. And yeah, people, really. people already saw that, man, people have never seen that side of Floyd, you know. Like cameras and stuff, and I was I was shocked. Yeah, he was I, on. At first, I watched like the you know I didn't um I watched like the you know the whole like build up like you know the interview stuff like that, and then when they went their their separate ways in the tunnels, I guess, and they did all the little side talks with all the um, media. You know, I I stepped aside and I went to get stuff done because I was about to go to work, you know, and then to um. You know, I went to work and then to find out I was looking on Instagram, I was like, what the hell? That happened? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was, he was on, on fire. It's all about that. I was like, damn, dude. Like, I was like, these guys do not know what they're doing, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, so how is Miami feeling right now with the hype of Floyd fight? Oh man, it's insane. The vibes are crazy. Like wherever we go, there's people like um, just coming out of nowhere, like, man, kick Logan's ass. And man, it's just it's it, it's crazy. It's like a Super Bowl almost, man. It's like like if you're the uh Patriots and the other team is over there, like they're like almost like there's it, the energy is crazy. It's like just ready to just it's like explode, man. So I know everybody's feeling it, man. You gotta feel like like a huge Super Bowl, like the, like the, if it's the finals of the NBA, it's like, it's tied three to three. It's like, it's a crazy vibe out here, man. And everybody that's down here, I know they're like, yeah, I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. They just can't wait for it to get here. Man, I'm excited, bro. I'm not even in Florida right now, but I'm excited. And uh, it's here too, they like flying down. And they were just here too for the holiday, for Memorial Day. And um, 
some people stayed, some people went back home and came right back. It's crazy down here, man. Miami's going to be off. They're going to make so much money, man, at hotels and restaurants. And, man, it's just crazy down here right now, man. So get down, get down here. Get down here. Trust me. Hell, yeah. And um, is AB going to be in the building? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just seen him yesterday. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he, he's going to be there. But, you know, sometimes we like, as fighters and fans, sometimes we like to be, for certain fights, sometimes we like to be in the peace of our home, watching it with nobody else in the room so we can watch every single detail. So, you know, uh, who knows you know, if, he, if he's going to come up, he's going to watch it at home. I think that's why I've never, I've never been to an actual Floyd fight. I was there for like the weekend of, uh, the weekend before Pacquiao. And then right. um, just to feel the, the electricity already, man, in Vegas. And I don't think I could ever, I don't think I could ever go to a Floyd fight live um, just because I'm so like anxious. Yeah, yeah. nerves. Yeah, yeah. I, I, trust me, I know. And I'm like, I just want to be tuned into the to the fight, bro. Like everything I shot, everything else out around me. And I'm just like tunnel vision on the fight, bro. And I'm just like, dude, I want this fight to start and I want it to be over already. And yeah, one, think one of uh, Floyd's best friends, um, his name is Matt. And um, he likes to watch the fights. And if you're in the house, you can't say one word. Shut the fuck up! Like he, he, he. It has to be quiet. Not one word. Not one sound. Not a phone ring. Nothing. Because he likes to watch it just like that. So yeah, trust me. I, I know. I know for sure. Hey man, that's the one thing that I wanted to bring up. I was uh, I was laughing at what on a uh, you put um you were trying to do the the video recording on Floyd. I think it was oh, like yeah. weeks ago, and he was like, "Shut that shit off, GT." Hey. And he do that every time. I got so many clips like this, probably like 30 clips where I'm filming that he said, G GT, cut that off, man. Cut that camera off, GT. <laughs> yeah, he just like that with the cameras, man. It's just a habit. It's funny, bro. It's just, it brings me back to all those uh, times that you were, um, you've been missing with AB about the oh, big yeah. popsicles, man. I was like, stingy guy with them popsicles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't like me to tape either, but I just, you know, I'm the big, I'm older than him. I'm the big brother there. But Floyd, I'm the little brother, so I got to kind of listen, turn the phone off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It's it's so hype, man. I'm glad to get you back on my channel. Um, Anytime. And it's like the transition. So the transition has been good, you know, between, you know, AB and Floyd. I know um, being in the middle of the boxing Jim is probably just iconic and to be holding the mist for Mayweather and um, just to be a step closer to Mayweather, man, you know, getting a chance to, you know, the man, bro, GT, and it's, just, it's amazing, bro. Like, I'm on, I'm on cloud nine, man. Like, so many things have come up in my, you know, in this YouTube um, since we last talked, you know, I lost my grandfather, all this stuff happened, you know, um, Changing experiences and it's crazy, bro. But like, I, I wouldn't change anything right now, bro. Like, I'm living a good life, and um, it's it's insane, bro. Like, it, just to touch base with you on the just the days days before the fight, crazy. Right, we gonna we gonna lock back in too after the fight so we get some post fight stuff. Hell yeah! So what is yeah. your, so what did you take from the AB fight? A B fight. Um, we did exactly what we needed to do. We needed to um shake some rust off. We needed to um make sure he get his jab established and uh, get it back working for you know future fights. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, a real good crispy left hand. Make sure it, it can last twelve rounds. Um, counter punch off of the um starting with the jab, looking for the counter punches. Um, and getting getting the win. So everything went good there. And um, of course, in the next fights, next camp, next fight. Uh, we'll work on the same thing we worked on this fight, but just adding on to it. You know, just like a, a Sunday, you get the ice cream first, and you you know you put the Oreos in next, and the whipped cream. So we just we got the ice cream down packed. That's the jab hand, and uh, it was real good, real sharp, and it, it lasted. It was it's just the same snap and sharpness it had on it in the first round. It had it in the um in the last round. So uh, we're just gonna add to the Sunday, man. Put the whipped cream and the bananas and the. P 
peanuts and everything need to go on top of, you know, for for the next huge fight that he's going to have soon. 